Good evening or morning or, where, or wherever your time says on your own clock. This is the Tenkaichi of Gaming and yes, something is happening in my neck of the woods. As you can probably hear it in the background, yeah, something big is going down. Anyway, do you remember when you were in school and you had lunches? When you had lunch? Well, this article was shared to me by <coughs> Ryu from Breath of Fire. And it's about <coughs> the sad state of lunch schools in the U.S. And yes, these are, these are actual photos. But before we actually get to the photos, <coughs> I'm going to actually read the article. The article at best, and yes, there are 43 of these things. So let me read this first before we actually, before we actually look at this. The photos come to us from the youth nonprofit DoSomething.org, who has asked teens to share their share photos of their school lunches throughout the month of September. The full gallery is on the Do Something site, and users can vote to toss or eat each photo. As demonstrated by the cringeworthy images above, it's an effective campaign idea, and the nonprofit plans to use the data gathered to create a heat map of school lunches in the U.S. Their goal is to raise awareness of the sad state of nutrition in public schools. Here are a few more facts about high school lunches. According to the USDA, a typical school lunch far exceeds the recommend the recommend. Recommended, yeah, I can't read. The recommended 500 milligrams of sodium, some districts in fact serve lunches with more than a thousand. The USDA also reports that less than one third of schools stay below the recommended standard for fat content in their meals. Last year, 21 mil, million students relied on free and reduced lunch as their primary meal, uh, primary meal on the day of the day. Up to 65% of their daily calorie intake comes from school provided meals. Unbalanced nutrition needs to decrease performance in school, obesity, diabetes, and a whole slew of other health problems. Uh, tell us, were you surprised by the school lunch, school lunch photos? Let's find out. Now, of course, um, we all remember how high school was back in the day, and I'm pretty sure that anybody could tell me that they had something worse than what you're going to see here. Now, this is something I can say I, I actually had when I was in high school, and what we see here are some cheap-looking, some cheap, and I do mean cheap-looking nachos, a few fries, an apple, some jalapenos, and some low-fat chocolate milk. Now I can tell you, this is probably the this is probably the butt nastiest thing I personally saw because when I saw nachos, and I can share this, when in my school when we had lunch or dare I say nutrition, 15 minutes you eat something. Third, uh, yeah, it, it was like that. It's like 15 minutes, you actually get something to eat, then come back to class. School, I mean, it, 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 when, when it was lunchtime, it was mainly, let's see, 45 minutes. You get probably 15 to 8, 30 to run it off. Basically play for 30 minutes, then you go, then you go class. That's what I remember. And nachos, I remember when I was in school, were about two dollars. Sometimes they were two fifty on certain dates. Others they were just two. So that's something. Next, let's take a look at and this comes from Pike High School Indiana. Next is Grain Valley High School. Now, as you can see from here. We have a bag of Cheetos. I don't know what kind of... Is chicken 
chicken donuts. I don't know if they're chicken donuts or they're, or they're onion rings, but I think they might be onion rings. I'm not sure. Chicken or onion. You, you guys tell me what you think you see. We have some milk. A, a bottle of water. And I believe the shittiest, the, the shittiest looking setup of lettuce I've ever seen. And this is from Grain Valley High School, Montana. Let me tell you, I've seen better. I've seen better. Like me, when I was, I mean, all we had was two things. You can either buy something from, from, um, say, the vending machine or go online. And that's how it's always been for me. So I was like, eh. <laughs> it's always been like that. Like, I didn't really eat, like, eat, eat something. But it's just, it's just something that, you know, I grew up with. Okay. Now, this is, this is the saddest looking lunch I've ever seen. And this comes from Auburndale Senior High School, Florida. What we see here is... Four chicken tenders, or they might be fish. I do believe that's fish, though. With the tartar sauce, so it has to be fish. A minimal amount of vegetables and an apple. <sighs> to be quite honest, at least get six. At least get six, you know. At least make it doable. So you can actually burn out most of your lunch when you go and play. You know, it's even worse. Um, elementary school, elementary school is even worse because the other day, as I switched to a, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the other day when I went up to, uh, or rather, last week, last week when I went up to uh, my old um my old job, just to pay my respects, I saw, I saw a kid actually eat something like, um, some Doritos in class. They just snatched the, snatched the, um, bag away and it's like, you know better, you're not supposed to eat in class. Especially if it's quote unquote junk food. And we have, <laughs> My sentiments exactly. <laughs> this is this is probably the highlight of, the highlight of what every, every kid in school is looking at. Like, I mean, that's in that's artistic genius at at its finest, right there. You cannot get any worse than a face like that. <laughs> Moving on. That, that right there just says it all. Man, I'm serious. Okay. That is from La Jolla Palmview High School, Texas. This I can approve of. This is a sandwich from Subway, a bag of nacho cheese Doritos, and a Powerade. What I can say about that is this is decent. I can... I can pretty much say this is decent. This is what I would usually eat when you know when I was when I used to work. I used to, I used to, sometimes stop by Subway before I go to work. Cause sometimes the bo my boss would not would forget to get something to eat. So basically, what happens is she would she would sometimes be in her work. And you know it's going you know. Sometimes I call in and say, I'm going to be late. Other times, I don't. But this is the one thing that, you know, should be balanced. This is balanced right here because Subway is a good place to go to when you just really want something to just fit in your stomach for a couple hours. It won't make you sleepy, but, you know, the walk will kind of burn it off. So I approve of something like this. Next is... The most saddest lunch I've ever seen. And this comes from Van Buren High School, Arizona. What we have is a sad amount of string beans, macaroni cheese, 
a slice of watermelon, a few grapes, a piece of bread, and a chicken patty. Oh, and a carton of milk. Hmm. Passable, but can easily be done better. At least, you know, at least have it like... If you're going to, if you're going to serve something like macaroni and cheese and string beans, plop it. You know, just have a big fistful and just... You know, make it worth, you know, you're, you're having something that's going to be filling as you basically just say, Oh, I'm hungry. Just like that. You know, not something like this. This is, pit, this is a pitly amount right here. Next. What the fuck is this? The fuck is this? This is from Broadway High School, Virginia. I'm sorry. This is not lunch. This is nutrition right here. And I know nutrition very well. This is something you can eat within, say, five or ten minutes. Because all you need to do is sit down. But all you're having is a, is a granola bar and... Something like Capri Sun or 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 or, or Kool Aid or Kool Aid Jam. You could do better than that. You know that. And you know what? I blame I blame the parents because sometimes the parents, you know, they don't think about. Okay, brown bag. You know, there are certain things you have to do for your kids. You can't just go to school sometimes and you know just like, you know, oh you're gonna be late. Yeah, did you fix me something to eat? Some people do brown bag. I I used to do that when I when I was going going through um high school. I used to brown bag. To this day, I kind of do and I kind of not do. Cause if I have money for it, I will go out and say, oh, well, I'm going to get I'm going to get myself a soda, and probably a sandwich from Subway. I'll be right back. It might take me a while. So um, unless you want to, you know, stop what you're doing and you want you want to ride up to. Subway for a while and get ourselves a sandwich or a six inch if you don't feel like eating the whole thing. I do. It's cool. But you know, something like this something like this, this is nutrition. Moving on, we have what the hell is this? Peoria High School, Illinois. The fuck is this shit? We have shit hash and a banana. Corn beef shit hash. That's right, corn beef shit hash. This is the saddest thing I've ever actually seen as as considered lunch. And I've had worse. Boot camp. That's even worse. Nothing says loving like sandy mashed potatoes potatoes that just taste like sand go straight through you and I do mean straight through you and it's just nasty I mean this is worse this is worse this looks like the lunch lady just took a shit on the lunch lady just took a shit on your plate and you you were going to have to eat it regardless of how bad looking it is the lunch lady has basically dropped the load in your plate. You're going to have to eat it. Screw you if you don't like it. Because I ain't taking it back. And you are going to have to pucker up Buttercup. Moving on. Canyon Springs High School. California. Pop tarts, Doritos, milk, and juice. No, uh, well, no, it's not apple juice. It's fruit punch. Uh, 
Oh, that's not a meal. Moving on. Pleasant Grove High School, California. This is not a meal. I'm sorry. All I'm saying is bread. Bread with bread with a little bit of meat and even more bread and a few slices of potato strips. Not chips, not french fries, but strips. And they only give you four or maybe five by my count. With only... That sad piece of, um, that sad piece of, uh, ketchup you see there in the corner and some Capri Sun. That's just sad. You mean you couldn't afford, you couldn't afford to have like at least a little cup in which you can just squirt the ketchup in to the, into this little cup and just put it on the side of the, and put it on the side of the meal. Tams can do better. Bear Creek High School. <sighs> Once again, shit. California, god damn it. I mean, this is something that that it that even that even make freaking um El Pollo Loco look this is something that may <laughs> make El Pollo Loco cry. It would shed a tear for this, like, you have our condolences. <laughs> this is just sad. Oh, God, this is even worse. <laughs> El Diamante High School, California. Guys, what the fuck is this shit? Let's see what we have here. We have some very interesting looking potato strips. The sandwich that looks all, that sandwich looks so, the sandwich or burger looks so alienated. <laughs> I mean, you look at the picture, the, it's like the sand, the sandwich slash burger looks so alienated from the rest of the meal. And what's even worse, like you got a cup of peaches around th I think the yeah a couple peaches and something like juice or yeah it's juice this is the saddest looking lunch I've ever seen I, I I kid you not this is the saddest looking lunch I've actually ever seen and I don't see how kids can actually look at their meal and try to eat that I really can't Okay, this is even this is even worse. This is from Del Norte High School, California. Even now, I'm just like, I, I I feel so sad because I live in Los Angeles and we got a worse setup here than all. We probably have a worse setup here because the way school the, the way schools do the you know the lunches. It's just not right. It's just, it's just look wrong. Okay, this is of course um, a sad looking. I see tater tots and a sad looking piece of um, enchilada, or or a chimichanga. It's either a chimichanga or a. It's it, definitely not a burrito, and it kind of looked like it's. It's something. It doesn't even look like a part of a meal, but it's like, it, it's something. It's something pseudo-Mexican. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. It looks pseudo-Mexican. Okay. Now this, this is from Mansview Timber, Timberview High School, Texas. This, I can get behind. This is something I can get behind because if you look at the meal, this meal looks filling you can basically sit there and it's chinese this is chinese i can get behind this because it's filling it's like you've got enough 
just for you to sit down, enjoy the meal. If you want to mix it, you can. If you don't want to, that's good too. But look at that. You have chow mein, you have orange chicken, two things, uh, uh, probably oranges and peaches, and a bottle of Trumu. I can, I can get behind this because Trumu is awesome. And the meal is not bad too. So I proved that. Next one is another California high school. Summit High School, California. This meal. You got a burger that looks ashamed to be out in the open. A bag of goldfish. And I don't think it's smiling back. And a banana. You put, I swear, if you would do this, put a bottle of um, Coca-Cola there. It would, it would look something beautiful. It would be a thing of beauty, you know, have a bigger sandwich, you know. To me, I bigger is better. Plus, you know, it, it will fill you up. That's the thing. It will fill you up. I know what they're trying to do, but still. I'd rather have something filling than, you know, something that's just like, e once you leave, it's just going to leave you. Okay, what the fuck is this? This is from West Hempstead High School, New York. I see a churro. And I don't know what the fuck this is. I see some Fritos, a churro, and a Snapple. What the fuck is this? That's supposed to be some cheese toast. And, uh, uh, is that supposed to be a sandwich? Because I swear... That's a sandwich that that would insult me, and and I love and I love me some sandwiches, but that is that's an insult. That sandwich is an insult to me, <laughs> or anybody who knows how to make good sandwiches. My sandwich people, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but that's an insult. <laughs> I swear, that's like an insult to those who make good sandwiches. Speaking of insults, this is this one is from Arcola Intermediate School. Pennsylvania. This fish sandwich has seen better days. So have the tater tots. And the milk just the milk just says I do not want to be seen. That's just sad. Really, it's just sad. Next we have Central High school, Arizona. This is okay. But I would add a little something more to it. You know, I would add... I mean, you, I don't know. The, these fries look like they're like um, sweet potatoes. Because they don't look like the standard... The standard edition fries that you usually see. So, mm, and the guacamole, I, I don't think so. The guacamole, no. Guacamole fries, mm, some, I, I'm not knocking those who like guacamole fries, but it, it just don't fit. Just don't fit. Next, this chicken sandwich looked like it's seen better days. This chicken sandwich looked like it's been thrown into a fight. And this one comes from John Paul Stevens. High school, Texas. <clears throat> yes, this poor chicken sandwich got its ass handed to by something bigger and hungrier than it is. And it's just laid there in the fetal position. As you can see, it's like... <laughs> the tater tots are kind of like they don't want to be seen. And the pineapples... Pineapples aren't actually crying if you actually look at it real real closely. They look like they're shedding tears for the beaten up chicken sandwich. And there's the milk just minding its own business saying, I have nothing to do with this. I'm sorry. This is a sad sight here. This comes from Cambridge Junior Senior High School, Illinois. This is a sad sight. When you don't see much of your much of a meal right here, 
This is just something that's truly and utterly sad. Because you see something just a, just a piece, a piece of cheese, a, a piece of cheese pizza. This is what you see. A slice of cheese pizza. <laughs> a big ass, a big ass flavorless looking donut and, and, and some chocolate milk. I'm sorry, but this, this, I would actually look down, and I don't know what the fuck that is, that, that white stuff. I, I hope that's glazed, because I, I swear to God, it looks wrong. It's like, it doesn't belong there. This is a meal that doesn't belong. Can we see something even better than that? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. This is from Parkview Magnet High School, Arizona. This is what I'm talking about right here. See, I can approve of this. Because it actually looks like a meal. You probably get um, a big, a big a, if not a big, probably a good deal of satisfaction just from this meal alone. You have, you have a few popcorn, a few bites of popcorn chicken, a nice amount of fries, ketchup, and the barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce is a nice touch. I, I approve of that. And some Minimate Fruit Punch. I've had Minimate Fruit Punch. It is damnably good. And like I said, this is something I would get behind because, you know, it's it's decent. It's modern. It doesn't look like a piece of shit. It doesn't look like it's prison food. Because sometimes that's what that's what the people at some schools do. They they serve it like it's prison food. And they don't have like an air of um care about you know, the children who come in there, they say, oh, shit, here they come. You know what to do. It's like they all have this plan. They all have they all have this plan out, like, okay, when they come in, we're going to give them the slop. We're just going to slop it on their plates, and they're going to move on, and we're going to sneer at them if they don't like it. Which I had to say is pretty goddamn sad. It really is. It's a sad thing because, you know, you're supposed to have some school spirit. You're supposed to show some pride, but, you know, that's a sad thing. And speaking of sad things right here, this is from Shades Valley High School, Alabama. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is, like, the most saddest meal I've ever known. It's like, I can see the kid looking at this thing. <laughs> and I'm sorry to say you might have something different to say, but I'm looking at I'm looking at it, and I'm kind of picturing this kid who was looking so forward to having a good meal. He looks down at what he sees, and it's probably about from his point of view, it looks like a penny. It looks like one of those stupid ass diet kind of foods, you know. But you look at something like this, it looks just sad. <laughs> You're having a chicken sandwich and nothing on the side of it? I would at least put, you know, have a bag of bag of Doritos or something. I don't know, you know. If, if you can't afford, if you can't afford to put some um, effort to go with the sandwich, at least have the decency to say, well, you know, if you add something to go along with it, I'm sure it'll be fine. You know, just add a drink to go with it. Have a little, you know, have a bag of chips to go with it, you know. Like some Fritos, Doritos, Sun Chips, anything like that, it would be fine. But this is a mess. This is a this is purity mess right here. Okay, this is from Frank W. Springsteed High School, Florida. Okay, now this this is kind of doable. You know they you know you don't skimp out on you don't skimp out on food. You know. I mean, that's that's another problem I, I notice. I mean, you know, just, just straight observation. Because, you know, formerly, I used to be, I, I used to be a teacher. Formerly, I used to be a teacher. And sometimes I would spend some time in the cafeteria, and I would actually buy some food. So the thing is, they would, they would hand me a good amount of food. But at the same time, I'm observing what the kids have, and some of the kids, they don't eat all their food. 
which is something that they should learn, you know, finish the plant, don't, don't waste food, you know. That's what they have to learn. You don't waste food like that. This is something that I would say, do not waste. This is good food right here. This is good food, you know, considering that if you don't, if you want to save, say, whatever the hell this is, probably like a wafer or something, or some cracker, crackers or something like that, you can save them for later, like probably after school. You don't really have to eat it now, but, you know, you can have the main meal. But, you know, when you leave after class, just have that if you if you feel like you need something to hold you down before dinner. So, it's alright. This is not so bad. The next one. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is pitiful. I am saying, and we're half, and we're past the halfway point. We're, we're reaching the halfway point of this. And I have to say, this is from Perry Meridian High School, Indiana. This, <laughs> I don't know. It's like, <laughs> this is, <laughs> I'm sorry. Chicken nuggets. No, they're at least supposed to be a, a bit bigger than that. that. That's more like nuts than nuggets, okay? So you're not having chicken nuggets. You're having chicken nuts. I'm sorry. You're having chicken nuts. You're not having chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets will be a bit bigger than that. But they will call them nuggets. They will call them quote unquote nuggets. And I'm sorry. Th th this is just sad. I mean. You have. The bread which is bigger than the nuggets itself. Two. Two packets. Two packets uh, of ketchup and small ass thing of chocolate milk. I'm sorry. Give me some Nesquik. <laughs> this is going to take a while. I'm going to have like a bottle of Nesquik, okay? I'm sorry. This is something that I would not, I would not, I would not have if I, if I was in school. If I was in school and I had that, I would be like, you got any more? Could you add, like, oh, I don't know, three more? At least, you know, give me ten. I would ask for barbecue sauce. I would not ask for... I would not ask for some... I would not ask for a shit piece of, um... Ketchup for something like this. Th that's bullshit. No, no, no. Give me a cup of... Give me a cup of barbecue sauce. Shit. I'm gonna if I'm gonna have this, y'all better give me some barbecue sauce. I, I am not kidding. I am not gonna have no no splurt of um ketchup on, on with my meal. I'm not proud, I'm just saying, you know. You gotta have integrity with food, you know. And that's my watch. Let's see. This I don't know what this is. This <laughs> we have a sad looking case of applesauce. A flat ass looking burger. Some mystery is some mystery kind of meal that, that looks like it's been like through hell and back. Cause you can see it bleeding right through the paper. <laughs> and some pork and beans. Oh yes, true move. True moves always go for anything. But still, pork and beans with a burger and and, and I, I gotta ask. Applesauce, and this is from Pot Patux Patuxent High School, Maryland. This is just some straight up bullshit. What was the last one? Well, if I didn't say it. Oh yeah, I did say it. Okay, that's just that's just messed up. I am sorry. This, this is just wrong on so many levels. And yet we we get we get away with this. Duke Ellington School of the Arts, D.C. Do you see something wrong with this picture? As I'm pretty sure I see something wrong with the picture. Okay. What is this? Where's the meat? 
Where is the fucking meat in this thing? I'm sorry. Where is the fucking meat in, in, in all this? It's like this. I, I approve of the carrots, the mashed potatoes, and the beans, and the macaroni and cheese. But where the fuck is the beef? Where is the beef in, in, in all this? Where, where is the beef? Don't, do not, you do not serve anything, even though beans are considered the beef, but still, you don't do that and, and just like, oh, pfft. I mean, you have an empty space on the upper right of this plate. You see nothing but a freaking, <laughs> a freaking void space right there. It's just a, Void. <laughs> I look at it and, and I'm sorry. It's void. It's so void. It's not even funny. But it's still void. That's just sad. There's no drink. No nothing. Just like. Okay. There's a big spot of void right here. Make sure you eat this before the void space inhales your food. Because the void space wants your food. The void space wants your food. No. God damn it. Number 27 is from Iowa City High School, Iowa. And, um, I'm sorry to say this, but, um, this meal can do better. This meal can actually do better because, honestly, I approve of the fish sticks. The brownie... And orange juice is okay. But I'm sorry. But that is not a proper salad. No, a proper salad would be you would have the lettuce fluffed. At least, you know, have a nice bed of lettuce. To where it wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't, you know, it's like right there. It's part of the meal. And you can see that the lettuce here doesn't seem like it's part of the meal. It's like it's in, it's in a meal by itself. And plus, just think about it. When you have ranch dressing seeping from, from, your, from your salad, and it, and it comes in collision with your chocolate brownie, There's going to be words. I swear, there's going to be words. Those words are going. There's those words are not going to be pretty because you have something sweet with something taut, and it doesn't go well together. Sweet and taut, it doesn't go well at all. Because ranch has a taut kind of flavor to it, so no, it's it's just not going to work. And the orange juice is not going to help any, any better. I'm sorry. Next, we have Broadway High School, Virginia. I see nothing wrong with this. Actually, I do see something wrong with this. Let's see. We have a burger. We have fries. We have a drink. We have ketchup. But... The Doritos, the Doritos, I'm sorry to say, but the Doritos do not belong in that picture. You see, you got to either have one or the other. And when you have one or the other, well then, you got to have one or the other. You can either have the Doritos with your burger, or you can have the fries with your burger. You cannot have both because you have starch. You have you 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 have a lot of starch. You have basically you know you basically have something like um, corn chips and then you have potatoes. You have corn and potato chips. Dinosaur, dinosaur. I would say eat it or 
Because what you could do, smart thing, if it were up to me, I'd save the Doritos for later. I would save the Doritos for later and still have my meal. This way, after, after school, whatever you're going to do, whether you're going to do your homework while you're still at school, while you're waiting to be picked up, or you're going to play and you feel your stomach kind of like growling at you, you have something you can reach for. You know, something right there in the moment's notice. You don't have to worry about cooking or anything. You just basically pop it in your mouth, chew it. You're good to go. Because usually, and this is going back to when I, when I used to work. What I used to see was kids actually do that. They would actually break out their meal. They would actually break out something on the side. Like they break out Doritos. And whether it was before, before they ate or after they ate, I would say, I would say after you eat, just save the chips. Save the chips for later. Trust me, you, you you are going to you are going you are going to see why it makes sense for you to save your chips for later because you get hungry later because you're not, you know you're still growing so you still need to eat so therefore you need something that will give you energy chips will give you a bit of energy but you know just like like a little spark of energy not not by much just with a little spark at least to last you until you leave until dinner anyway but I I concur about that this is from Avon High School Indiana I'm sorry but um You got chicken strips, apple juice, and a sad looking salad. I say this is a sad looking salad because it's dry. I mean personally I would put I would put um Either some Italian, some Thousand Island, or maybe some Caesar salad on it. But you know, not not like a big, but like a little. And you know, you know what I mean by a big. Think about think about McDonald's. You know what I mean. Because you know some burgers they just like. They put that much. They put that much on the burger sometimes, and you can just see it. Just like that. But this, I mean, the Nutter Butter, I don't know. The Nutter Butter looks so flat. I'm sorry. It's probably eaten, eaten already. But god damn, that's a, that is like a sad looking, that's a sad looking lunch right there. I'm sorry. That looks so sad. It looks like it's crying. It's like, help us please. And mind you, folks, these are just observations that I that I just noticed over the years of being in school and being a part of a school. So don't take it the wrong way if if I poke fun at it because you know we all went to school and we all had lunches that didn't look right or they looked weird, something like that. And we all wish we had better lunches. So, no hate mail, please. This one is from Inglemore High School, Washington. I'm sorry, this is the flattest lunch I've ever seen. This is the saddest looking lunch I've actually ever seen. And this is and, and this is by any standards. It's like, this is not lunch. This is, this is more like, oh, um, here, this is prison food. I'm sorry. This is more like prison food. I'm like, this is like the flash, the flash looking nachos I've ever seen in my life. 
I don't even want, uh, and, and, and the drink don't even look like much, it's just flat. That's just, that's just sad right there. That, that's just real sad. That's just saying, we don't, ca we don't care. Here, have a nice day. Upper Valley Career Center, Ohio. Well, now, um, this kind of looks, um, promising. You got the tater tots, you got a chicken sandwich, you got a bowl of both, um, macaroni and cheese, I believe, and, and I look like macaroni and cheese, or it look like corn to me, you be the judge, and some carrot sticks. Carrot sticks are okay. Carrot sticks are fine, it just depends on the dip you use, and, you know, the dip is usually something terrible. Me, I prefer having like barbecue sauce to go with um, barbecue sauce to go with um, breadsticks or you know some barbecue dip, something like that. You might have your own personal preference but that is my own personal preference. Then I would say if I was if I was going to a place like this I would have something just in case in my backpack ready at a moment's notice because they might serve something like shit or they might serve something decent but I would have something in my backpack ready at a moment's notice again that's just me but still I'd be ready for it Hector G Godinez School California. Oh God, what is this? Again, this goes back to what I said before. The corn the cob, that's fine. The 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 fruit is also fine. The pizza, the pizza looked like it came from a, a vending machine, but. Again, I want to point to the shit on a shelf sitting next door to the corner of the cop. I'm sorry, but it looked like the lunch lady took a humongous shit and just plopped it right on that one spot that's just sitting there all by itself. It hates, it hates you, it hates everything you stand for, and you will eat it regardless of if you don't like it or not. Still, like I said, that right there looks wrong. And I would say, pretty much the pizza, the corn, and the, and the mixed fruit stands alone by itself. That right there, which is next door to the corn, do not, and I repeat, do not belong with that. And I'm, I'm just saying this right now. It does not belong with that. Let's see. What's next? This is from Piedra Vista High School, New Mexico. Oh, my God. <laughs> you got two apples. Pizza and fries. And this pizza looks like it's about ready to cry. My God, you can see the, you can see, you can already see the tears dripping from that pizza. You can just see the, the olives, which kind of, which kind of look like um, tears from the pizza, and the and the pizza look like it's it, it's it, it's been whipped in a fight. <laughs> this is a sad looking pizza. I'm sorry. This this plate looks oh so sad. Not pathetic. It's just sad. Moving on, next one comes from E.C. Goodwin Tech, Connecticut. <sighs> this looks dry. You have two pieces of bread, two chicken strips, and what might be the most ungodliest looking piece of coleslaw that I've ever seen. Yet the only thing, the only saving grace that looks good are the potato slices. 
Not everything else, just the potato slices looks just like that. And the juice, well, it's just juice, so. But the potato slices is like the only saving grace of, of this um, picture dice uh, of this picture that I see here. And that and that and that just basically says something. That really does say something. That just says, oh, here you go. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Move on. As we move along to William T. McFatter, <laughs> Technical Center, Florida. The name itself, William T. McFatter. This needs to be McFatter because I swear to God, no, no self-respecting Sloppy Joe would look like this. The Sloppy Joe isn't as sloppy and there's only just carrot sticks. Baked carrot sticks, but still, a Sloppy Joe should be as big, nasty, and just be gushing with grease that you know it's a good sandwich. I'm sorry, but the name should not be McFatter. It should be McThinner if it's going to be, if it's going to, if we're going to have a sad ass looking piece of shit sloppy joe that, it, that doesn't even look like a sloppy joe. This looks like a, this looks like a skinny joe. This even, this doesn't even look like a super joe. It looks like a freaking skinny joe. This is a skinny joe, not a sloppy joe. Let's move on. That, 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 that right there, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, that's wrong. Oh my god, this looks wrong. This comes from Sewanhaka High School, New York. <laughs> this poor thing looked like it, it doesn't want to be touched. <laughs> you can tell. It's like, you see something like this, you got what might be uh, mozzarella sticks. They're either mozzarella or zucchini sticks from what I can gather, what it looks like to me. Milk and juice and probably the most wateriest sauce I've ever seen. And I believe this person, whoever wanted, whoever was eating it, just wanted to be away from it. I can tell you the truth, that is, that is a sad looking lunch right there. It's like it's unwanted. It doesn't want to be around you. You've abandoned this meal and you will not touch it. Why? Because it has offended you. It has offended your stomach and it, and it has offended everything you stand for as far as appetite goes. It has offended your appetite. Good day, sir! And this is from Miners, Minersville area, area Junior Senior High School, Pennsylvania. I see pizza bread. Or cheese, uh, no, 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 this is cheese toast. Cheese toast with some chocolate milk. Oh, yeah, and the sauce. Yeah, th this is, this can be done better. This can be performed a little bit better than, than what I've seen so far. But this, this needs room for improvement. This could, you know, definitely do with a hint of something else. Like some, like some, say, carrot sticks, celery stick, you know, some vegetables. At least have some vegetables go along with this. Because, I mean, after that, you're just, all you're eating is just bread. You're, you're, all you're eating is bread with tomato sauce. That's all you're having. You don't have no piece of meat. You don't have something to go with it like, uh, like, like I said before. You don't have any sides to go with it. You don't have, like, another part to go with it. And that should be known that, you know, just a little bit. If not so much, just a little bit. And it has to look at least edible it can't look any worse than what I've seen so far but my god it needs room for improvement <laughs> this is from Boone High School Florida man this is the <laughs> I'm sorry but if you had a meal like this you would want a little more wouldn't you I mean, you're growing up, you're supposed to have at least something a little more filling than this. Because, I mean, look, you got a quesadilla in what looks what looks like either a blueberry or a chocolate chip cookie. And I'm sorry, but I would add a drink to that. 
I would add something like a Mountain Dew, a Sprite, or at least, at least some Gatorade to go with that. At least, at the very least, you know, have a decent drink to go along with a meal like that. That's all I'm going to point out. Okay, this is from Roselle Park High School in New Jersey. And of course, we all remember the classic cheese pizza. Ah, uh, the cheese pizza in its block of blockiness. And I ain't got nothing to say because I remember cheese pizza entirely too well. But I always had something to go along with the cheese pizza, at least like like some vegetables. This can't this cannot stand without vegetables. I mean, depending on the size, you know, you have to have at least a little bit of vegetables to go over it. Because, you know, vegetables are just as important as the meat. <sighs> the milk. Depends if you're lactose intolerant. I figured I'm not lactose intolerant. It's something in the milk that makes me go. So, therefore, I had to have something natural. That's how that's how I figured it all out. Why I've been why I've been lactose intolerant, and like I said, it's it, it depends on milk, because some milk can be curdled or spoiled or anything like that. But it has to be you know natural. It has to be natural and fresh. It can't look curdled or or you know spoiled or anything like that. But we're almost done here, folks. We're almost done as we look into. Valley High School, California. This is the most saddest looking lunch I've ever seen. I almost feel as this lunch is kind of looking at me like, don't, please, pity us. <laughs> I'm sorry, it, looked like, it looks like this, this, this lunch by itself needs to be pitied because... It looks like it hasn't been taken care of so well. I kid you not. There are so many things that look wrong with this. I kid you not. This is like the most messed up lunch I've ever seen so far. But yet it looks so somber, melancholy. And yet at the same time, it looks delicious. I mean, all lunches, wherever you grew up at or or whatever you graduated from, they might taste delicious, they might not, they might taste like shit for all I care, but lunch is lunch, but still, it should be like, you want a little more, at, le at least a little something more, you know? Next we have Bullet Havens Technical High School, Connecticut. Two words, prison food. This is prison food, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I'm sorry, but this looked like shit flakes. You can't, you can, you cannot see the mouse cursor, but I'm, I'm just, but I have it circled right here, what, what looks like to be some tuna, and this piece of bread. That's about it. You, you don't want to show the rest of this. You're probably ashamed of, <laughs> ashamed of seeing this, but my God. This right here. Oh, God. It's like you're having a piece of bread and shit flakes. I pity you. <sighs> and probably the next one and possibly the last one. Is this taco salad or this making of taco from Wyandotte High School, Kansas? I approve. I mean, this is this is how um this is how we usually make um tacos. As far as I can try and remember, I don't think there was a day a day in my life that I've never seen. A taco salad being made like this. And I've made taco salad. I mean, every time I went by hometown buffet, I always made a taco salad. 
and a taco salad would look really good when I make it. I mean, I'm pretty much making people hungry right now, or lack thereof of hunger. But still, I look at something like this, I say, you know what? This would make me want to get up, go back over to the buffet, and get myself another plate. And I will make three plates. I will make the salad first, a main meal second, and lastly, lastly, I would basically do, just do this. I will make it, um, I will make it third to actually make a nice, you know, side dish to go with it. I mean, to me, I would do that, but you know, that's just me. But that's about it, though. That was all of the known school lunches that you've seen before. So, really, you know, if, you know, if you ever experienced something as worse as what I've shown you, or probably better than what I've shown you, please share your comments about what you've seen so far. And see if you can actually top what I've just shown you. Because top or probably <laughs> tell me what was even worse than what I've shown you. I don't care. It's about food. Because everybody remembers, our, remembers school lunches. So you should remember yours. And probably what I am going to actually do is I'm also going to share this article with the rest of you guys. And see what you think about this. And once again... Thank you, Ryu, for sharing this article with me. I really do appreciate you sharing something this this this, this terrible in in cafeteria food. So until the next time, I've been the Tenka Age of Gaming and Cooking. And I will see you next time. Until then, take care, God bless, and of course, Tenkai Muso.